and welcome back to Sparkle May Pink. My name's Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing with you my latest Ulta haul. I have run to the store about two times over this past week and picked up a couple of things and I figured why not share them with you to see what it is that I'm purchasing and why. So I'll jump right into it. I will leave some links down below if you're interested in purchasing or at least looking into any of the items that I'm talking about. Some of them will be affiliate links so I appreciate you clicking through those. Um, if not, let me just show you what I got and why and let's get started. The first thing I'm pulling out is something that I've kept my eye on for so long and I was like, I'm going to get it. No, I'm not. I'm going to get it. No, I'm not. And then I finally just gave in, bit the bullet and got it. It is the Real Techniques Prep and Prime Set. Now, the reason that I actually wanted to get this is solely for this little gizmo right here. I haven't even taken this out of the box, so I haven't tried anything just yet. I mean, other than the sponge, I've tried that previously, but I thought it was really cool that it came with a little stand, but again, it wasn't a selling point for me. I solely wanted this for this metal tip eye roller, so it doesn't move. It's a stagnant metal piece, and I thought it would be really good for dotting on some eye creams, and I tend to be really harsh under my eyes. I know I'm not supposed to be. You're supposed to be using your ring finger and just being really gentle. I'm turning 30 in January, so I thought it was about time that I... I need to be more gentle and be more like aware of how I'm treating my skin and I thought this might be a really great tool to apply my eye creams and then go in with this guy to gently massage them into my skin. Is it an extra step, extra bougie? Yes. Now this is a $20 set so that's what held me back from being like, oh yeah, I'm totally going to get it because I wasn't really interested in the um, stick here which says that it's really great for... Uh, getting the product out of your jars. I do have other spatulas for that. And this brush right here looks just like a foundation brush, but it's really great probably for applying masks. I do use a wet and wild brush for that, but maybe I'll transfer over to, or transition over to using this one. And of course, you really can't go wrong with a sponge and a holder, so. The other brush that I got was the Real Technique Expert Concealer Brush, so I got this for a couple of bucks and um, it's really great for just blending out my concealer and the lines that I um, create when applying it. The next thing I got is a, another sponge, but this one came with a case, so it's different, okay? This one is really great for traveling. I thought it would be really great. It doesn't even have to be the Real Techniques brush that goes in the case, but, hi. But I thought it would be a really great idea because we are going to be traveling for each of the holidays plus New Year's. We are going up to Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm so excited to go and see the pine cone drop because I haven't really talked about this on my channel, but I drank too much last year and I don't even remember it. And it was this magical evening. I only know that because Logan took some video of it and... I'm going to remember it this year, guys, but I'm super excited to be doing a little bit of local traveling and bringing this with me because I want to look my best. So the next item that I want to talk about is something that is just, I think it's officially turned into a holy grail product for me, and I will have a video coming up soon. There is a little bucket back here with a whole bin filled with dry shampoos. The good, the bad, the eh, okay. This one right here is one, I'll show you right now. I have one, two, three of these. And the only reason I got this many, normally I would buy two at a time to be honest, but I did get a little bit extra on this trip because they were on sale. They had hang tags for $2 off. Plus my best friend, Denisha, she's also kind of a beauty enthusiast. She does have a really wonderful Instagram page. So go over and check that out. I'll link it down below. She let me know that there is this um, app on my phone, and I used to use it way back in the day. It's called Ibotta, and they had a coupon on there when you enter your receipt or take a picture of it. You get $3 back. So they were on sale. I had $2 manufacturer hang tags that I used in the store, plus I believe I had, did I have the 20% off at that time or the three off 15 or whatever it was? There was a huge discount on these to begin with. Then I went home, scanned in the receipt into the Ibotta app, which looks like this guy here. And then you just kind of scan in your receipts and you earn money back. 
and each one of these I earned three dollars back now it was only able to do two at a time I did purchase some other things I'll share here in a minute where I was able to get even more savings so I didn't get one on the third one but that's okay because six bucks back I ended up paying what a dollar fifty for each of these all in all with the cash money back and the manufacturer coupons and the sale and all of that so so worth it and I didn't even tell you what this was it is the Eva NYC dry shampoo I do also really like their dry conditioner but I didn't see it in the store so I need to kind of shoot them an email and see if it's something they're even carrying anymore but I have a travel size and a full size of the dry conditioner I use it sparingly because I know I haven't been able to locate it love 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 this stuff it smells good it doesn't give me a huge white cast it gives me a slight very slight white cast especially with my dark hair and I just leave it on there let it soak up all the oils go and finish my makeup or sometimes I'll apply it at night and just spray it on and in the morning you just kind of judge it up and just kind of work it into your scalp area or roots area and it's so good love this stuff I am so glad we found such a great deal Ibotta is an app that you um, put in your receipts and you get money back it does have a referral code so cool if you use mine I'll leave it down below you can earn some money on your first purchase that you redeem and then I get like a bonus or something like that um, but if you don't want to use it go to the Ibotta and just download it yourself that's totally fine just thought I'd give you that option so the other items I got were in a different category on the Ibotta app and I was able to redeem money back for those as well plus there was hang tags and they were on sale and I had the Ulta coupon so I was able to stack all of these deals and seriously I don't even know how I got away with this I feel like I stole this is the main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It is what I use to blow dry my hair. My hair is so shiny and silky smooth. I've gotten so many compliments on my hair. I've only used it this once because I just got these. But I'm telling you, like I already am in love with this guy. It is very oily, but it's light. So apply when your hair's wet. Do your heat styling. If you're going to apply it when it's dry, definitely apply it to your hand first and kind of put it on the ends. That's the type of product that it is. I did also go and get the Surf's Up Texture Spray from Eva NYC. I am literally just so in love with this brand lately. This is going to be really great for when I curl my hair, hopefully, and just kind of give it a little bit of hold, but without it feeling very hairspray-ish. So it's going to give it a little bit of texture, hopefully. I need to give this a go and try it out. Come to try it this weekend. We're going to an event this weekend. So that's also another reason why I'm getting all these beauty products because I want to feel good and you know how it is. Okay, so this next item is the Eva NYC, NYC Skip the Spa Thermal Hair Wrap. Wrap your head around that one. It is a hair, like you know those sheet masks that we use? It's a sheet mask for your hair super different I thought this was really unique it was $12 not on sale so then it was on sale plus I had the $2 coupon plus the I bought a thing that I was able to redeem for for another $3 off so totally worth it even if it is a one-time use sort of thing especially if it works thinking about doing just an exclusive video on this product let me know what you think or if you're even interested in learning about this in the comments down below Okay, so the second to the last product that I got is this brush here from It Cosmetics because I had that 20% off everything. So yeah, I must have had the 20% off everything coupon. This is the It Cosmetics Smoky Liner Brush. And I haven't even taken the top off. Oh, I took it off for the first time. It is just this really tiny definer brush. Now it is a little bit bigger then my Sigma pencil brush as you can kind of see here it's a little bit fatter and not as tapered and like come to a tip I thought this would be really good for some detailing on the outer corner of my eye and really smoking out eyeshadows I tend to use this on my lower lash line and I I don't like using it on my lid I feel like it's too pointed and too precise where I like that this one had more of a rounded top to it. So the last product in this haul is, now this is a brand that I have been in love with since like day one of starting my channel. It was the first more high-end-ish brand that, or more prestige brand that I had ever tried. When I see their new stuff come out, I'm more 
more likely to make a, a splurge on it. So this here is the Lorac Mega Pro 4. <laughs> I am so excited to have this in my hands and I haven't even touched it because I wanted to show you guys before I even dug my fingers into it. Maybe take some pictures. Maybe I'll put up a video or two and maybe some looks or something like that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that because if you're not, I'm going to dig into this and just give it a go. I will show you. Get any. I have this case right here and it has all of my Lorac palettes. I do have other Lorac products but this here is like the Pirates of the Caribbean contour things. We have the matte palette pro contour um, or this was a blush palette and highlight. This was the contour palette. We have all three of the pro palettes and all or the mega pro and all three of the traditional pro palettes. I love this and I keep it top sh literally on the top of my desk in, in a cute little decorative thing and I can't wait to add this guy there's a little bit of room left in this first little shelf here I can't wait to add him on there he just looks so pretty and he was 20% off I want to say it was even on sale even though this just came out I don't even understand how it was on sale <gasps> we saw it in the store it's so pretty it's pink I mean it's just perfect guys I could not pass this up at first I was like I don't need any more eyes uh, we all know I do not need any more makeup nor the less any more eyeshadow look at this oh my goodness you know what color my eyes gone to this rustic one it is called spice this green mossy color, this purple, what is that called? Unicorn? Oh my gosh, what is that called? Fairy tale looks really pretty. These are really traditional. These colors, see, I feel like I would need to use one or two, otherwise it'll get a little bit muddy on my eyes, just the, the way my eyes are hooded. But look at this fun, bright color and this like mustardy brown. I am so so excited this is so pretty this pink flamingo color even oh, and actually I don't see very many repeats between the um, one through three there were a couple of repeats I think black is always in them cream is always in them there's always one to three repeats this doesn't have any of those in here and I'm okay with that I really oh look at this light sage color I don't know if it's picking up in the lighting this guy right here is a pretty green like a minty color I have to put it away before I ruin it because I'm gonna like dig my finger oh I've already ruined it he's dirty how did that happen it's par for the course when you have makeup and they have that like kind of feel on it actually my Jaclyn Hill palette it's not as dirty as I thought it would be, even though I have used it quite a bit. There's some marks on the back. Um, this one gets dirty really fast, everybody's been saying, too. I totally lied to you. I have one more product. Okay, so this here, I had it over in the corner. Poor little guy. I forgot about him. This is the Derma E Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil. And they had this on clearance, and I Googled it because I, I was at the store with my friend Denisha, and I'm like, maybe they're getting rid of it. I really love Derma E products. They are really just... I love them. There's other brands that I like for other things like PCA and Murad and things like that. But my in-between products where I have a little bit of room, wiggle room to kind of try things out, I usually give a go my Dermy E stuff. And I googled it to see if they were discontinuing it and it looks like Ulta is just not going to carry it anymore. So I got this for $9 I want to say. Totally worth it. I've used it only a couple of times. but. It removes everything. So I've been using makeup removing wipes, which are just the Walmart brand, but I feel like I'm really pulling on my skin and I'm trying to be more conscious of that and more gentle with my skin as I am aging a little bit now. And I thought this was a really great alternative to kind of just melt it all the way, then go with my cleanser and double cleanse to remove the oil initially, which has all the makeup, and then go in to actually treat the skin. Then go in with your toner, serum, moisturizer, blah, 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 all that stuff. And so far, I've been really liking it. And Dermy e just smells good. It's more natural. Oh, it's so good. I mean, it's got like rose and uh, argan and jojoba oils, which I know for a fact that jojoba mimics our natural sebum in our skin. 
so your skin doesn't negatively react to it it actually positively like absorbs it and is just like oh okay it's just more oil so I'm super moisturized random little facial fact there okay so that is everything that I purchased in my latest Ulta haul let me know what you think about it in the comments down below am I missing anything should I have bought anything to supplement anything do you have any recommendations for me leave those in the comments down below I love reading them and replying and having girl chat down there um, be sure to hit the subscribe button stay up to date with my new videos hit the notification bell to get notifications when we upload and follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram and snapchat and I'll see you guys in our next video bye